Well, that's great. The sports wars indeed is something that has given us some of the highlights of what we looked at in karate, in football, and also every other sports. Right now, joining me in the set, or rather in the studio, is my guest. Is an individual who is a web developer and a co-founder of Afri Tech, Afri Soul Tech um, Limited, the makers of the Okiki application app, which exactly is an app for live streaming of movies here in Nigeria. It was developed in the United Kingdom and is brought here to the Nollywood industry. And joining me is uh, Mr. Adebayo Dada. Yeah. You're welcome, sir. Yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you, sir. Thank Great. you very much. Uh, you know, earlier on when we met, we were talking about how the Nollywood industry, as a matter of fact, I'm made to understand, is the second largest yes. uh, moving industry in the world after, after Hollywood, right? No, Bollywood. Uh, after Bollywood? Yes. Oh, so man, you yeah, say that. Yeah. So, so you're saying that uh, we are definitely, you know, triumphing over... Nollywood. Nollywood itself. Oh, sorry, I mean, Hollywood. Hollywood. Yes. Oh, that's quite impressive. Yes. But you and I know that a lot of the issues that has to do with um, the Nigerian movies industry and have posed a lot of challenges mm -hmm. is uh, basically area of piracy yes. and intellectual property. Yes. And uh, for Nigeria, um, it's a major challenge that we've not yet been able to overcome. Mm -hmm. Do you think that enough is being done or is there something wrong somewhere that um, creates these kinds of problems? Um, I think um, we, uh, we need to look at uh, our hold is uh, Nollywood. Nollywood is only 23 year old. I mean, it okay. started in 1992 by a man called Kenneth Inabu. Oh, yeah. So he came to Nigeria trying to sell video. No, but people could argue that. But nevertheless, oh, yes. you know, yes. because but I mean, it's official officially record. recognized or yes. accepted. So he started, he came to Nigeria, started selling video cassettes. He couldn't sell much. So he started releasing Nollywood movies, uh, Living in Bondage, uh, Glamour Girls, yeah. and stuff like that. <coughs> so after then, Nollywood has gone a very long time. And um, there's not much structure into the industry at the moment in terms of uh, the distribution and the, the copyright laws and stuff like that. So I think it's not a lost cost. It's just uh, we need to come back to into one room and everyone should come back, you know, the marketers, the uh, NCC, the uh, film right, uh, the board. The boards and the producers. And, and, the producers. and, and even the actors and, and the, the actors practitioners. All need to come into one room, talk about the current situation. And, you know, the pirates are just going out oh, there making the bulk of the money they need to be making. So. Yeah, but if you look at the uh, more developed um, nations where yes. the movie industry is playing a critical role in promoting their arts and culture, mm. they have a lot of laws and regulations yes, already yes, put in place. Yes. In our own climb, um, we are still challenged with those issues as regards to law and regulations to actually even um, put those perpetrators, you know, teach one or two persons certain lessons. Mm -hmm. Do you think that if the laws are right in place, that a lot of the issues regarding piracy would have been a dead um, the case, as uh, case. Definitely, definitely. Okay. And also, we need to educate people in terms of um, any free content, any free movie you get is not giving money back to the actual content creators. So, you know, if, if, you, buy, if you get a movie for free, you know, you're just damaging the, 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 the actual person that invested in that movie. And so, um, we, need to, we need to have a program where we educate people in terms of, uh, you know, if you want a better quality for a movie, you need to buy it to have a better quality. Yeah, but you know, you and I were talking earlier on also that price is a major factor. Yes. yes. And part of the issues that the, maj the average Nigerian is confronted with is also poor um, network, network service. Specific, yes. And the mobile technology itself is what the platform there is for us to be able to even assess and use um, the Okiki app. Yes. Um, don't you think that that is a consideration that has to be put in place? Yes. Uh, we be, I mean, coming from our side of the Okiki platform, uh, we've been talking to the likes of the uh, big networks out there and uh, we're trying to collaborate with them and try to have free data, uh, no data cost when they're watching movies from our platform. So these are the things we're, we're discussing with the, the big, uh, no, uh, the big uh, telecoms out there at the moment. All right. Now, um, part, of, part, of the concerns, um, part of the concerns that I basically know um, is the fact that some people believe this is a lost cost mm -hmm. and technology, as a matter of fact, can be the tool that yes. can help us fast track development. Yes, yes, definitely. And I was at an event some time ago where we looked at cyber crime mm -hmm. and the question of laws and regulations. Yes, yes, yes. But everybody said that technology can actually give um, or address the job um, um, issue, the deficiency or in, in employment. Yes. Um, do you agree that truly technology can actually help to arrest piracy? Uh, yeah. of um, this intellectual property. Yes, definitely, yes. Okay. Um, uh, I and, and how does the Okiki platform, as a matter of fact, Okiki app helps to address this? Okay, um, well, part of the Okiki app is uh, we give uh, a back-end system to each uh, content owners where they go in by themselves, upload their movies, 
when they upload their movies, we, it gets approved from our side. So this is kind of way it cuts piracy in sort of uh, the distribution process where any new movie you release at the moment yes. get released on CD straight away. So rather than releasing on CD, it will be turning to a cinematic effect where a new movie release get released in cinemas, get released on our platform before it gets distributed on CDs. Okay. So you know this takes time for the pirates to actually get a physical copy of the of the movie they released. So that way we cutting, reducing piracy in that process. But uh, I mean, some, some people actually buy some of those CDs of newly yes. released movies yes. that they actually capture from the cinemas. Cinemas, yeah. You know, so how does that, how does that so proceed um, in, in this regard? I mean, we, we know cinemas, we are a uh, movie, uh, we, the mobile platform area. So we're saying, if you connect a mobile phone while watching a app, the video doesn't, it stops, automatically stops playing. Oh, really? So you cannot actually, co watching a movie from your mobile phone, Connect it to HDMI into the TV and mm -hmm. try to record it. It wouldn't work. Oh, but fantastic! But the current apps out there at the moment does that, which oh. is not really helping the piracy situation. So we've put some piracy features in anti-piracy features in the app, where it will help cut down piracy. Oh my! Yeah. You know, uh, when I think about piracy, I think about Alaba International Market. Yes, <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's more like the kingdom of pirates. Yes, yes. And is there any? Any form of collaboration mm. in bringing some of these Alaba merchants yes. into the picture to see that they themselves can be solutions um, um, givers rather mm. than you know destroyers. Destroyers. Yes. The, um, the I mean, we, we're open to talk to anyone that has a positive path to Nollywood. So we're trying to empower the industry. We don't want to segregate people. Say, oh, you, you're not good for the industry. We, if you have a knowledge of how we yes. can er eradicate this piracy situation. We are welcome to sit down with you and talk to you, to the individual or the uh, body. All right, Bio. Yes. Now, one of the things I want to think about also is the poor quality yes. of our telcos. Mm -hmm. Data is very expensive. Yes. Why will I want to um, subscribe to your app mm -hmm. when I realize that I have several voice calls to make? Mm -hmm. um, how is it that the telcos themselves will help to improve? For example, I want to watch a YouTube video, mm -hmm. perhaps watch the morning ride on YouTube. Uh, it's going to cost me money. Yes. So I don't know what kinds of um, solutions that can be explored in that regard. I mean, the solution I can suggest is the free data when you're watching a movie from our platform. But uh, it's, to, it's left to the telecom industry to, to reinvent, to in reinvest First in the industry, it. build this infrastructure, make data cost reduce. Yeah, because I mean, in the UK, for example, it's, I mean, unlimited, it's, it's connection. unlimited. I yes. mean, people have Wi-Fi. Yes. Here, the, the price basically is more like a cough yeah, exactly. And then for, for a lot of Nigerians, the average Nigerians will ask themselves, why don't I just go to a free website where I can download these movies? Mm -hmm, yeah. All right, or why can't I just wait for a period of time when this movie is out there for mm -hmm. me to watch that? Yes. So I think perhaps for, for Okiki app, it, it should be um, one of your CSR yes. or perhaps your major concern, right? Y yes, definitely. Yeah, we, we, we're in talk with the uh, telecoms companies at the moment. And, uh, we're trying to find a solution as, as quick as possible because um, we, we don't want to. Um, oh, we, we want to have a situation where people download the physical copy of the, phone, of the yeah. movies on their phone because as soon as they get to their phone, that's it, it gets populated everywhere else. So, we're engaging the uh, telecom companies at the moment, trying to make sure we come with a free no data when you're watching. The movies oh, fantastic. Out. Well, that would yeah. be a good one, as a matter of fact. Yes. I know my friend Kule Afalayo actually cried um, yeah. Yeah. after investing so much, yes. I mean, in a lot of these movies that mm. have become standards yes. of comparison. And then, you know, you, some of these monies, you actually borrow, you, you take loans, mm. and then you can't even you get cope the investment and all that. So Definitely. we want to believe that Okiki app itself can help to address this. Yes. And during your launch, what was the expressions from the movie practitioners. What did they feel? What was it that, was it a general acceptance or they felt, mm, this is just one of those things? Oh no, they, they all stood up and started clapping because oh. we, we show them how pirates actually do some work when it comes to digital platforms. Oh, fantastic. Where, you know, we give them a, a, a demonstration of connecting a phone and watching a YouTube uh, video or, 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 or content or a movie where the pirate can easily extract the content okay. straight away. And we also connected our platform to it and um, everything stopped playing, you know. So we, we, they, they were really, really clapping, they wanted to come on board, everyone is signing up at the moment and uh, we just getting as much content owners to come on our platform at the moment. Oh, so, so what about users like us? Do we get free, free apps for like two years, three years? Oh no, <laughs> it's, uh, it's actually three, three months free subscription. Three months free subscription. Yes. And then the yes. price tag is going to be LET, so it's just going to be like the common man's price. It's common man's price, yes, because mm. we're trying to reach as much people as possible. So we don't want to segregate the common man in this uh, situation. Uh, are there other um, 
countries that um, Okiki app is applicable or this is just basically designed for the Nollywood industry here in Nigeria? Oh no, it's uh, global. When it's you, global. If you're okay. in uh, Brazil, uh, in the UK, in America, you can easily download the app and you can easily watch the Nollywood movie anywhere in the world. Okay. So, yeah. I, I, what, one of the things that comes to mind is Iroko TV. Yes. Do you guys have... Are you a competition to one another or you're supposed to explore synergy? Um, well, I mean, our platform is totally different. I mean, there's one specific point of uh, our platform where any other platform, even in the world, they're not doing at the moment, which is the social part of it. So, I mean, you can be watching a movie and uh, you can be socializing with someone watching the same movie with you. So, and also, uh, you can have a celebrity or a star that wants to show his, his or fans what they are currently doing at the moment so they can have a live broadcast with their fans. You know, you know the way the Nigerians are, you know, they love yes, to see what yes, their fans, yes, are, their course. artists are doing. So, you know, it, it, an artist that wants to connect straight to their fans can have a live broadcast oh, channel fantastic. and watch. So that's like one, one, one on one interactive opportunity. Exactly, that, exactly. You know, and the, no the one in the world is doing this at the moment. And oh, this, right. this is the first invention of uh, the kind of Oh, and it's, it's done by Nigerians. Exactly. So, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Nigerians are quite amazing and uh, we, we do so much in terms of creativity and technology offers the most um, diversified opportunity yes. that can help to create wealth. Mm -hmm. Great jobs, yes. and uh, for individuals like you, you're young looking, man. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, this it's been wonderful having this chat with you, mm -hmm. and we're looking forward to you, um, looking forward to having you again, oh, basically. Right. Anyway, well, viewers, as you've seen, I've just been speaking with Mr. Adebayo um, Dada of um, AfriSoTech, the makers of Okiki app, um, Nigerians' leading live streaming app that can help to promote um, enterprise in the Nollywood industry. And this has been quite engaging for me. I'll definitely want to subscribe to that app. Well, next up in line, we're going to be having um, the feature on the topic, the thrills of Kogi's harvest, a stage performance. Enjoy. <laughs>